Big news, everybody. We have an auto bid. We have a team that is going to the FCS playoffs. Yes, I know. And that is the first team, one of the first teams to punch their ticket to the playoffs this year is the Sacred Heart Pioneers who beat Duquesne, the Dukes, in overtime in the NEC Championship game today. That's right, today. I know, right? Man, we actually still have a couple games that are going on right now. And there's also some interesting stuff that has come out today as well. Um, speaking of one of the games going on right now, Tennessee State, you have a new head coach, Eddie George. That's right, former former running back, you know, that I know of it from the Tennessee Titans way back in the day. And of course, you know, some other you know, stuff like that as well, you know, some other teams as well, but mostly the Titans back in the day. So you have a new head coach, you're getting beat up right now by Southeast Missouri with about five minutes left to go in the fourth. Um, that game actually doesn't even matter anymore because, because Jacksonville State beat Murray State by two touchdowns. Murray State is out of, you know, they're pretty much out of contention for anything. That, that auto bid, nope, it's not going to you, Murray State. It's not going to you. It is probably going to Jacksonville State. And Jacksonville State's pretty much punched their ticket to the FCS playoffs, pretty much, basically. Um... You know, I thought I thought that we were gonna stop. You know, with the whole Deion Sanders thing, but apparently not. Um, Alabama State just flew up and down the field on them. We're talking; they threw it all over the field on the Tigers. You know, that Tigers defense just isn't good. Isn't good. Jackson Hill. I keep saying Jacksonville. I meant Jackson State. It's three and three now. And guess what? They're out of the race for the SWAC title. That's right. They're out of the race for it. When you lose games like that, you, you, you know, the score may be closer than indicated. But um, you, can't, you can't have your corners and DBs get beat like that each and every drive. You don't allow 52 points. That's not how you get to championship games and stuff like that. Not how you do it. That is not how you do it. Um, four of them beat Bucknell, but despite that, I believe Bucknell will be taking on Holy Cross. I believe I think I said that already in the video on Friday. If not, um, yeah. Very surprising that Monmouth beat Kennesaw State. Now that throws a wrench into some things as well. Montana played a game. I don't know who they played, but I, but they played a game. Because remember, Montana said they weren't going to play a game, you know. You know, earlier, they weren't going to play in the Big Sky earlier this year. And, you know, things were just not looking great. You know, things were not looking great at the time. Things are looking great now. So, yeah. Um, what about North Dakota State? North Dakota State, they struggled against Northern Iowa. They really did. Northern Iowa ain't no slouch. Like I said, they ain't no slouch. Bit of a struggle there um, for the Bison, but they got the W. By three points. Um, Southeast Louisiana beat Nichols in one of those games that was very anticipated. Very interesting stuff right there. Now the race for, you know, those other six at large spots are getting kind of interesting. They're getting kind of weird. They're getting kind of crazy. So I'm going to take a look at the standings and stuff real quick. And Weber State, yeah, Weber State, they have locked up. They have locked up the auto bid in the big sky day. Do not have any more games. Their game against Cal Poly was canceled. They do not have any more games left. So they are indeed going to the FCS playoffs. Congrats to them. Who is left? Well, Eastern Washington. They beat Idaho. They beat Idaho. So now could it be? Could it be Eastern Washington? You know, taking the playoff spot. Could it be? Monmouth, they're undefeated in the Big South. They beat, remember, I just said they beat Kennesaw State. And it was very surprising that they did. Very surprising. We all thought Kennesaw State was going to run away to the Big South. You know, at least that's what I thought was going to happen. But now things are looking kind of interesting. It's only these two teams. And looking at the schedules and stuff like that, Monmouth has one game left against Robert Morris. 
Could it be? Could it be, you know, that Monmouth gets to go to the playoff in their first season in the Big South, or is it their second? I'm not sure. I don't remember which season. I don't remember, but um, as far as the CAA goes, Delaware's still in things. They're still in the mix of things. They beat up on Delaware State with a game that does not matter whatsoever. It's just another W. It's, that's not a rivalry at all. And Delaware State needs to stop thinking it is. It's not a rivalry. But, um, yeah, um, Delaware's still in it. We got Richmond. We got James Madison. James Madison, you know, had some games canceled. Richmond's had some games canceled. You know, things are looking kind of weird right now. And, you know, some teams just don't have enough on their resume right now. Some teams do. Uh, but keep an eye out on the CAA these last couple of weeks. Um, uh, yeah. There's also Missouri State. They've also clinched a share, from what I've understood, they've clinched a share of the Missouri Valley title. And we got a we got a log jam up here at the top. South Dakota State, North Dakota, North Dakota State, and Missouri State all have just one loss in conference play. North Dakota State has five wins. Missouri State has five wins. South Dakota State has four, along with North Dakota. So it is a log champ up here. We could see three teams from the Missouri Valley make the playoffs. And again, Duquesne took an L. Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart is going to the playoffs. And as far as Jacksonville State is concerned, they have finished up. Yep, they have finished up their season. They are going to the FCS playoffs. That is correct. They are going to the playoffs, and I don't think anybody else from the Ohio Valley will. So there you have it. With that. Um, again, Holy Cross book now for the Patriot League title, title next week. Um, Davidson, San Diego, and Presbyterian are still battling it out in the Pioneer League right now. And in the SoCon, we have VMI and Mercer and East Tennessee State. But VMI, they have one game left against the Citadel. Um... And let's take a look at the other one real quick. What was the other game in the um, SoCon? Mercer's taking on Samford. Um, and East Tennessee State will not have a game against Chattanooga. In fact, their season is done, so who knows what in the world is going to go on there. Um, so it's between Mercer and VMI now. And remember, remember. BMI beat Mercer, so it could be the key that's going to the playoffs for the first time in a long time. Speaking of the Southland, Sam Houston, they're in the lead. Everybody else has two losses, so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how things go here. Sam Houston has one game left against Incarnate Word next Saturday, and um, they could be riding off into the AQ7 and the WAC, you know, in 2021 and beyond with the conference title in the Southland. What what a big middle finger that would be. What a huge middle finger that would be. As far as the SWAC goes, we know the SWAC championship will be on May 1st. So what's going on now? It seems that Alabama A&M, Alabama State will be for all the marbles in the SWAC, baby. It will that will be next Saturday. Of course, Alabama A&M has Mississippi Valley State right after that. And as far as Alabama State is concerned, they beat they beat Mississippi Valley State today, or rather yesterday. Excuse me, they beat them yesterday. Um, and this Magic City Classic game is for all the marbles. It is for all the marbles in the SWAC East, in the West. Arkansas Pine Bluff, Prairie View, Southern. Somehow Southern's still in this. You know, Southern has just one game left against Grambling. As, as it stands right now, they have just one game left against Grambling. Arkansas Pine Bluff will be taking on Prairie View A&M. And then, you know, Texas Southern. And as far as Prairie View A&M goes, they'll be taking on... 
Yeah, they'll, be, yeah, they'll have a game against Arkansas Pine Bluff, and then a game against Jackson State to finish it off. So the SWAC is looking interesting. We have four teams in it left for this season. For this SWAC season. So there you have it. There's playoff scenarios and stuff like that. We have two tickets. At least two tickets are punched to the playoffs. Congrats to those teams. We know that there's some other things going on as well. Um, so keep an eye out on that. There's going to be the host sites for these um, playoff games. First round, second round, quarterfinals, all that good stuff. And also, we know that the semifinals will be broadcast on ESPN and ESPN2, along with the national championship being on ABC, because of course it should be. That's where national championships should be. Hint, hint, college football playoff, FBS. Hey, put your national championship game back on ABC, please. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. I'll see you guys, you know, probably month. No, not Monday. Um, see you guys sometime soon. I don't know when the next video will be. Um, you know, and it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how things go. Honestly, uh, I'm ready for the playoffs. I'm ready for the playoffs. There's one week left in the season, and the playoffs are right around the corner. See you there, everybody.